Audax, 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 Audax. Audax. What is an Audax? An unfamiliar and strange word to many, even within the cycling world, but don't let that put you off finding out more because in this video, I want to tell you a little bit about Audax events and share with you a few ideas about preparing for your first and what to expect. And even if you consider yourself a veteran of Audax, I hope you might still find this video entertaining. Now the word Audax may be translated to mean bold in Latin or audacious in French, but in cycling terms, it describes a particular type of long distance cycling event. An Audax ride known internationally as a rondonnée is simply a cycle ride that has to be completed within a set time, including any stops to eat or rest, and it's definitely not a race. But in most cases, riders will have to maintain a minimum speed of 15 kilometers per hour, and importantly, a maximum speed of 30 kilometers per hour. Now that's about 10 miles per hour and 20 miles per hour respectively. The history of the sport dates back to the late 19th century Italy, where day-long challenge sports became very popular. Participants aimed to cover as much distance as possible to prove themselves audax or audacious. Back then, these events included hiking, swimming, and cycling. The first recorded Audax cycling event took place on the 12th of June, 1897, when 12 Italian cyclists attempted the challenge of cycling from Rome to Naples, a distance of 230 kilometers during daylight hours, which was 14 hours long. Similar events became popular elsewhere, and in 1904, French journalist Henri Disgrange produced Audax regulations. And under the Audax regulations, riders rode as a group. Successful riders are awarded a certificate called a Brivet de Audax. An Audax cycle event today is generally a long distance, unsupported bike ride along a predetermined route that must be completed within its time limit. The distance may vary and riders earn Audax points for completing the event, scoring more the further the distance. Generally, 200 kilometers is a common distance, but many are much further. Points accrue over the Audax year where riders may receive credit or annual awards for their achievements. Riders are expected to be self-sufficient, but that doesn't mean that you have to ride alone. And strictly speaking, an Audax is an event ridden by a group of riders with a team captain, all riding together. Events undertaken by riders as individuals are randonnées. However, the term Audax is often used to describe randonnées as well. Being self-sufficient means providing your own navigation, mechanical support, and nutrition. Unlike a cycle sportif or other organized mass participant ride, where the route is often marshaled or signposted with special arrows marking your way, Audax requires you to navigate yourself. You'll receive a route card, and together with your own map, you'll make your way around the course, making sure that you pass through the control or checkpoints along the way. If you get a puncture or other minor mechanical issue, you must deal with it yourself. But the rules do allow for you to attend the village blacksmith for assistance in welding a broken frame. But the riders will not be supported with event or team mechanics. Some rides offer food along the way, but more often you'll be finding your own resources for fuel, from cafes to pubs to the village shops and service stations. And of course, any supplies that you carry from the start. Right, so you've taken the plunge and you decide to enter. You turn up at the village hall and sign on. And the first thing that you'll be given is your brevet card. The certificate will be your proof of passage that is time and date stamped at the beginning, during, and at the end of the ride before being sent off to the organizer for validation. The vast majority of Audax events will end at the start location and to avoid any urge to cut a corner or two, the route will take you through specific controls or checkpoints. They're different types, but generally you'll receive either a stamp on your brevet card or you'll be required to obtain a shop receipt or other time dated stamped evidence that you were at that location at the said time. Some rides also have information controls which require you to answer a simple question about something, for example, a road sign at the relevant location. You write down your answer on the brevet card and put your time that you were there. One of the benefits of Audax is that you get to cycle challenging routes that have been lovingly planned and tested by experienced cyclists who generally want to show off the best 
of their region. So that's a brief overview of Audax and for further details you can go to audax.uk where you'll find information on Audax and events around the UK and I'll put a link in the description in the comments below. Now I consider myself a keen amateur cyclist and I've been riding for many years and done all sorts of events, races, time trials and group rides but up until this weekend I'd never actually ridden an Audax but a couple of weeks ago, I received an invitation from my friends at IC New Velo Club based here in Norwich, who asked me if I wanted to join them for a local Audax. I agreed. So if you're interested, I'd now like to share with you my experience of doing my first Audax. UK, city software. Yeah. And then we have to get these stamped or we write them in. Yeah, you're right. right. The answer's there, or yeah. if it's a control with staff, you get a stamp. I feel like I'm about to go and rob a bank. <laughs> Would this be it? Yeah. <laughs> Happy Christmas. <laughs> Silly baby stop. It's the way forward. That's the first checkpoint, or check nav anyway. Mm. We've got to go in and get a receipt. Can we buy anything? Anything you like. <laughs> Sunday Times. <laughs> Latte. Got Americano. Get 
taking the artistic b-roll shots ah <laughs> not quite so artistic <laughs> so i've got to keep this receipt and then i'm gonna i just hand it in do i <laughs> yeah yeah i'll say so i think the coffee's a good idea yeah. this is for someone else it's not mine i've actually caught swinney eating something unheard of you always catch me eating stuff wow I'm trying to catch the time when you're not eating. <laughs> <laughs> quick, quick shout speed on this. Way down that way. A quick nav check. All part of the all ducks experience. Gonna squeeze this. <laughs> he's old, he's getting old. <laughs> Suitably refreshed and setting off homeward bound.
16, you walked in there about 16, 30. Yeah, what a wonderful day. Thanks for organising the weather. And oh, what, what did you do at Darnie? The octopus arm was five and a half. That was, uh, as all axes go, that was uh, quite enjoyable, except for my dodgy knee. So that, that was quite painful at times. Yeah, it was, a, it was, it was quite a small, but good weather. Excellent, thank you. My second calendar event, it was brilliant, absolutely loved it. The uh, weather was fantastic, great scenery, fantastic company, um, nice tailwind on the way home, well organised. Yeah, definitely doing it all. My first all dax completed and what a day and what a great experience. As Dave said, it was fantastic weather, but it was also a slog, especially in the morning headwind. So remember to dress accordingly and also consider your calorie consumption as I used 4,880 calories. So do be prepared. I do hope that this video has been of use or interest to you, or at least entertained you. Uh, please do share the video link on your social networks. And if you like it, please consider leaving a thumbs up. And of course, leave any comments below. I'd love to read them. So that's it. Thanks very much for watching and happy riding.